I've already done two different videos showing you how to route the Google Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro, but things keep changing so an up-to-date version is needed yet again. This week the developer of Majisk released 24 of his root tool for Android. And that means there is a new way to root the latest Pixel smartphones from Google. Now, thankfully, the process is much easier than it used to be, and it will now resemble the traditional root process that many of you are already familiar with. The previous method required us to do things like disable VB Meta and verification. And thankfully, Majisk is going to handle that for us now. Rooting the Pixel 6 also requires you to have the bootloader unlocked already. So if you haven't done that yet either, check down in the video description below and I'll include a link to a guide that shows you how all of that is done. Then you will need to download and extract the contents of the Google Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro firmware that you are currently running on your phone. So I'll be including the link to this download page in the video description as well. We just need to first find if you are running the Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 Pro and then match the version of the firmware that you are currently running. This device is on the January update, so I'm downloading the January factory images directly from Google. If you need to, you can compare the version number right here of the firmware to the version number you see in the About Phone section of your device. We are downloading this firmware directly from Google server and then extracting it so that we can modify the boot image file, which is needed to gain root access. So I have downloaded that firmware file and I have extracted it into this folder. I've just renamed it to January so that it is more organized for me. When we go into this folder, you're gonna see files like this, a couple of flash scripts, bootloader file and then a compressed file right here. Then when we extract the contents of this compressed file we get this folder and inside that folder we're going to see this boot.img file. This is the file that we need on our Google Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro right now. So if you have downloaded this firmware to the PC you're just going to need to copy this file over to your smartphone. However, you should know that you can download and extract that firmware file on your phone, but no matter which method you choose, the goal is to just make sure that you have the boot image file on this device. With that done, we also need to install Majisk from the developer's GitHub page. I'll be linking to that in the video description as well. Now I generally recommend that you download the latest version of Majisk in the root tutorials that I do, but if you're wanting to use the same version that I'm using in this video, just know that it is version 24.x. I believe it is at 24.1 right now, but we are just downloading the latest stable version of Majisk. Once that application has been installed, we can go ahead and open it up. And we're going to tap the install button right here. Now we get the option to select and patch a file. And I'm just going to browse over to the downloads folder since that is where I put that boot image file. And I'm just going to select that boot image file from the Majisk app. With that done, we're going to tap the Let's Go button right there. And we're going to get some scrolling text telling us what the app is doing. We are installing version 24.1 of Majisk to this boot image file. It needed to unpack the boot image, check the status of the RAM disk, make sure that the stock boot image was detected, 
then it allowed the app to patch the RAM disk and repackage the boot image back up for you. You can see here we are given a patched Magisk file right here. It is an IMG file as well. And this is what's going to replace our boot image file. We need to copy this file, the Magisk patched file. We're gonna copy this file back to our PC and we're gonna put it in the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. That is important. It needs to be in that uh, folder so that we can execute the proper command. After we have copied the Magisk patched file from the phone and put it back onto the PC, we then need to boot the Google Pixel 6 or the Pixel 6 into fast boot mode. Now again, this is something I've already shown you how to do in a previous tutorial. So if you're not familiar with the process, look down below, check that dedicated tutorial so that, so that you know how to boot into fast boot mode. I'm going to be using the ADB, ADB command to reboot into bootloader, which is the same thing as doing the hardware button combination. We just need to boot into fast boot mode and make sure that our device state right here is set to unlocked. So just as a reminder, our Google Pixel 6 is in fast boot mode. It's connected to our PC with a USB cable. And again, we have opened up a command prompt within the same folder as our ADB and Fastboot tools. And that's the same folder that we put that Magisk patched file. So with that set up, we're going to type out the command Fastboot space flash space boot and then a space before we type out the file name of that Magisk patched file. So a little trick that you can do is, as long as you're in the same folder, as long as everything is in the same folder, you can begin typing out that file name, which starts with Magisk, and you can just press the tab button to auto-complete that file. So instead of having to type out Magisk underscore patched dash 24100 underscore, and then that random string of characters, a dot, and then an IMG, Instead, I can just start typing out the word Magisk, press the tab button, and it should auto-complete that file for me. Now with this typed out, this is the command typed out, we're just gonna press enter on the keyboard. You should see Fastboot send this Magisk patched file to a boot partition. This could either be boot A or boot B, depending on which partition you are currently running. And then it should write that Magisk patched file to the boot B partition. And in both instances, we should get an OK message right here. As long as we got that OK message twice from that command, we're going to turn our attention back to the Google Pixel 6. And we're going to make sure that this top option right here has the start option highlighted. Now this may look different if you have pressed the volume button to change what is currently highlighted, but no matter what, we just want to make sure that the start option is highlighted and that we press the power button to select that option. This is going to boot us back into the Android operating system. And right off the bat, we should see that Magisk is finally installed. So here we have the lock screen. We're gonna boot back into Android. You can see that no data has been lost. We have not lost any data. We have not needed to do a factory data reset. We can open up Magisk. 
to first do our initial checks. And we want to look at this top section to make sure that we have a version number next to the installed section. And if you want, we can then go into the Google Play Store, download a root checker app, And then we're going to use this application to, again, verify that we have root access. So once installed, just go ahead and open up the app, agree to the pop-up box, go through that intro, and then simply just tap on the verify root button. If everything is done properly, that's going to bring up this pop-up asking us if we want to grant super user access. We can just allow that. And now we can see that we have gained root access to our Google Pixel 6 or our Google Pixel 6 Pro.